Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am just sketching in my sketchbook, but this is specifically for a new challenge that I'm taking on for myself, as well as the start of a project that I have been planning and I've been very excited to start. And this is finally the step that's gonna push me into making it happen. But enough talking about that. What I'm actually doing is I'm starting a make 100 challenge for myself. So that's just where you draw a hundred of something or you make a hundred of whatever the case may be. But for me, that's drawing and that's drawing a specific type of design. So for a while now, I've been really obsessed with enamel pins. They're gorgeous. I love the story that they tell and I love how many artists are working on them and creating them. So that is something that I have been planning for a while now, but I keep stopping at the design phase because I feel like I have to have the right idea before I can even start sketching it. It has to be perfect. It's not like a piece of artwork where I can make a bunch of them, I really have to be a lot more narrowed down on how many I can actually produce because again, they take a lot more time. They're a lot more expensive. All of the resources that go into it, it really needs to be the right design. So I've been getting really caught up in this where I have to think, okay, well, it has to be perfect and it has to be the best thing ever, but that's keeping me from even thinking of ideas or putting them down. And I realized that that was holding me back and it's been holding me back for months where I've been planning it and I wasn't letting myself progress with it. So I decided to make myself do this. And that's where I have to draw a hundred enamel pin designs within the next week, hopefully. So it's gonna be a lot really fast. So the point of this is that a lot of them are not gonna be good, but some of them will be good. And it's gonna get me moving and getting my ideas going. And maybe one thing works in one small aspect, but the rest doesn't work. The next enamel design I can do will focus on that feature that I did like and that was working. And I'm very, actually very excited about this working on a hundred of something because I know that that is something that I personally struggle with and that's where I don't do enough concept work. I've always had a hard time with this where I don't do enough thumbnails and I don't do enough sketches for when I'm planning something out. I'm the type of artist that struggles with that a little bit and I get to a point where it's something that's working and I like it and it's a spark there. So then I run with that particular one, even if it's say my third thumbnail, but other times where I've really pushed myself and I've created many more thumbnails, oftentimes I choose one that was later on or I figure out a detail that I really love in one of the later ones, even if I incorporate it into an earlier one. So I guess the point is, is that just the more ideas I put down, the more I have to choose from, the more concepts I put out there, the more things that I had no idea I'd even think of that I end up thinking about because I'm stretching myself and I'm forcing myself to think of a hundred different designs, which really is a lot of different designs. It's gonna make me think in ways that I haven't before. And a lot of those ideas will be good. And I want the enamel pin to be really special to me. I want it to have that spark that when I look at it, it feels like it has a certain detail that's unique to it and it makes it one of a kind really. So by being able to go through a lot of iterations and a lot of ideas and pushing myself beyond the point where I might think that I have ideas even, it will help me to be able to know that the one that I'm choosing is the right one. And I say one, but I'm actually planning on at least three that will be available right off the bat. I am actually really excited about that because I always love creating series things that fall under a certain scope or a certain confines of design. I think that that's when I get the most inspired and I create the best ideas is when it's something that I have to make them all match and go together and have this coordinating theme to it. So I, that's why I love doing series and paintings as well, but that I think will help me think about things and sets while I'm working on this. I already have a couple design avenues that I want to go down for when I'm trying to figure this out. Ultimately, all the all the designs that I do do that will be turned into buttons will all fall into the same theme. But while I'm sketching, I can explore multiple ones. I've been toying with the idea of pirates since I love that. I've already talked a little bit about that recently, but that's a huge inspiration for me or things that are a little bit more creepy. I have a very nuanced concept in my head, which it's kind of hard to put it into words, but I want something that's kind of like haunted and ghostly and a little bit monstery, but also art deco-y. I, I don't know how quite to say it, but there's just a few things that being able to work out different concepts that all tie together, 
I know that I'm going to go off on these totally unconnected directions, which I love. It's things that I can't even think about now. And that's really a good testament to the fact that I really should be doing more of everything. It always pushes me to think better ideas than I did originally. And that is it for today. I will be posting my favorites over on Instagram and all of the 100 will be listed exclusively over on Patreon. So if you'd like to see those, I'll have a link to both of those down in the description. And I do want to give a really quick thank you to everyone who helps support this channel by either checking out my shop, supporting me on Patreon, or just by watching and sharing these videos. It really does help me grow and it means a lot to me. So thank you guys. But that is it for today. So I'll be back on Saturday. We'll be finishing the painting that I started last Saturday. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you then.